Yeah, Western Kentucky is a good program. We we played them uh, uh, two years ago at their place in the tournament and, and lost to them in overtime. Very good side out of the Sun Belt. Uh, usually a contender in their conference. Um, very uh, consistently good, and uh, they'll they'll give us a good test. Um, know their coaching staff pretty well, and, and some of the players they brought in, and it'll be a, should be a very good game on fr Friday night. I think you'll see a, a physical game. I think you'll see end-to-end -end type type action. I mean, I think both teams like to attack, and both teams have good attacking personalities. I think both teams are pretty sound defensively as well. So. I think it'll be a really good game. I think it'll be, you know, like the games we've been in the past couple of weeks. I mean, it'll come down to capitalizing on some opportunities and avoiding some mistakes. But it, it should be a very tightly contested contest. It's a team team game, and you know, you're only as good as your last player on your bench, and, and so that's important. Something we preach to the girls. Um, and the reality of it is, some some days people aren't going to be on, having their A game, and that's when the other ones have to step it up and and bring that to the table, and that's that's what being a team is all about. I think as a team we do a pretty good job of that. Uh, but the, the real picture is, and the thing I've tried to bring back to these girls this week uh, with a little bit of frustration over the last two results is at the end of the day, you're playing college soccer with your best friends, and we're a good team. Uh, we're gonna, you know, the whole, the whole thing about a, a season at this level is ups and downs. It's how you manage it, because you're gonna have those high moments, and you're gonna have those lows, and, the teams that deal with that the best are usually the ones that are playing deep into November. All week we've kind of been keeping the tempo up. We've been working really, really hard, just kind of forgetting about the loss and moving on because the real goal is to win two games at home this weekend. So as far as that goes, just continuing to work hard and not letting anything get in our way. When we step on the field, it's just soccer and it's about looking to the future. Weekend games are always tough because Friday we always want to come out and battle and obviously it's a Friday night game, it's under the lights, everyone's adrenaline's pumping so Sunday's really got it where we have to work through it. Um, it's a, an afternoon game, it's always hot, the sun's going to be out, you kind of have to mentally just push through which is where our subs play a huge role as well because everyone's ready and fired up to play. So Sunday is a really a battle and I'm, I'm really excited for the weekend.